What's up guys, it's W Drums come back from you live from my college dorm room. We've got another Skylanders Giants Series 2 figurine review. This time we are reviewing rah, 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 Terrafin. Look at his new figurine, ladies and gents. Oh my goodness. It's the brawler path. Like, oh my god. I love it. Like his look, like he's about to kick your butt out of the ground to just how detailed he is now like look all the little lava bubbles are there now or whatever the hell that was like oh it looks awesome I love it beautifully crafted alright we got stats Terrafin's speed isn't the best but he's got the ground attack to really make his speed excel We've got armor and critical hit plus 12 because of the unicorn hat. You get it in the hat shop. Upgrades. We've got punch. Press A in the Wii Remote to punch the enemy. Press A, A, and hold A in the Wii Remote to perform a combo. Earth swim. Press B in the Wii Remote to burrow into the ground. And while underground, press A to perform a belly flop. Brass knuckles. Punch attacks to increase damage. Uh, Mega Belly Flop. Belly Flop does increase damage and affects a larger area. Feeding Frenzy. Press Z in the Wii Remote to spawn mini sharks that burrow and latch onto enemies. Multi-target punches. Punch attacks hit multiple enemies. And then I did the Brawler Path to match the figurine, but also I just love the combos. Puggleist. Press AA and hold B in the Wii Remote for a Body Slam. And press A, A, and hold Z on the Wii Remote for the uppercut. And then you got Spike Knuckles. All punch attacks do even more damage. And then you got Frenzy Shield. You launch mini sharks at your enemies who damage you. Then his Soul Gem, Surface Feeder. Collect power-ups while burrowed. And finally, the Wow Pal, Dive Burrow. While in the air for a belly flop, press B on the Wii Remote to immediately dive back underground. So instantly you don't have to belly flop on the ground and wait for the time to respawn it. You can instantly just go back down. It's a really interesting concept. At first I didn't understand the point of it, but now I definitely see why they did it. Now for those of you who don't know my views on Terrafin already, Reason why I wasn't a fan of Sandhog is because it only increases the speed for the most part of the burrow path, but also you can um you can uh you can hit enemies with your dorsal fin out of the ground and all that, but I feel it's not that good. The combos though are so amazing. Now watch this. Do a belly flop. Back in the ground I go. I still did damage. That's how cool that is and how useful that is. You see, the other thing though with Sandhog, I've told you all from my last videos, Love Last Year with Terrafin, is that the problem that I have with it is the fact that, um, it's the fact that, uh, you can't control the speed for the life of you. Like, it's very hard. And if you can, I mean, good luck to you. Like, props to you, but I can't. So, yeah. I also love how the ground animation is more uh, colorful. It really looks uh, a lot dirtier and a bit more filthier. It really looks like actual dirt. It's not just like one dimension, you know. It really looks like legitimate dirt on the screen. That's awesome. So apparently you can't uh, get hurt from those guys. That's awesome. See that? They hit me, my sharks kill you. That's the exchange we make. There's the uppercut. So we'll do the soul gem again. You can literally just spam that. See, while doing the brawler, you have so much more control over the ground, but then you also get these amazing uh, 
this, and it makes you a much more versatile fighter in PvP. So those are my two cents on Terrafin. I think he's great. Uh, definitely worth the the redo if you have the money. If not, the other one is great just as well. So hope you all enjoyed this review, and uh, take care. Peace.